Welcome back, folks. I had a request to do something about our commuter trains, and uh, I do agree that we have quite a lot of passengers sitting all over the place. So let's do something about it. Actually, there aren't that many here. I guess there's just been a train picking people up. That's not a passenger train. There's a passenger train. Yeah, so we do have quite a lot of people uh, sitting in a lot of places. So let's do something about it. Uh, we'll let time run very slowly. Yeah. And let's see. So I was also told that um, these... Uh, commuter or uh, metro liner trains they are not very good at uh, at moving uh, at moving uh, passengers uh, en masse so what else can we do what passenger wagons do we have here 15, 14, 21. Hmm. These can hold 33, but they only do 140. These can do 209. Twenty-one, two hundred. Alright. So I think we'll use these double deggers. Um on these routes where they're pretty short uh, not up to Temecula because that's a long one but so let's see you're coming in with a full train here over from Hialeah so so let's take them one by one so Murrieta to Temecula so we have quite a lot of passengers sitting here on the Murrieta Temecula. We have a lot of passengers here and we have a lot of passengers here. So this is something that we want to do something about. We only have three trains on this, uh, which isn't a whole lot, but I think we want to replace them all. With something electric, I think. So, 140 kilometers an hour. I think I'd rather go 200 on this because there's a long distance up there on the Temecula. Ooh, and we got new planes. Cool. Very nice. I really want to get planes going soon as well. So if we add this, and then some of these, four carriages, 84 passenger capacity, 200 kilometers an hour. It's only good now. At high, it can still go 196, so that's fine. What if we add another one? It can go 168. So I think we'll do three, do this. And we'll make them their color. I think probably it's this one. And then I think we will clone two of them so that we get some more trains on this. So that's hopefully... Murrieta Temecula dealt with. And let's, uh, let's find a train and take a look at it. Um, 
There's one. It's a pretty good looking train. I think. Right, how fast are we going? 120. And we're speeding up. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, and if we take a look at the coaches here, it's a little bit hard to see anything inside. We are overtaking a cargo train. Yeah, we are definitely overtaking that cargo train. Alright, this is pretty good, and we're doing 180, we're picking up the pace, 192, 195, 96, 97, and we're slowing down and coming into town. And we do have a crap ton of passengers waiting here. And buildings shooting up through the... The station. But that is what it is. Alright, so... That's one. That's one. And we can't actually make the trains much longer. We could probably put an, one more car on there. But I think this will get the passenger numbers at the stations going down. So, Tomkula still has a lot of passengers. And a train just left with five. Why do you only have five? Ah, because they're all going to Murrieta. Okay. So you're full. You're full. And down here in Murrieta, we still have quite a lot, but we will have to give it a little bit of time and see if it doesn't help. All right, so Murrieta Promo, Provo has quite a lot of people sitting here. Uh, it does here as well, going to Murrieta, not to Provo, though. And down here we have... a hundred-something. Alright. So, this train... We have four trains on this. And this is Murrieta Provo. Let's take a look at replacing these. I think we'll go with steam. Mm, let's go with the Hiawatha, I think. And for passenger, I think we'll go with these. Uh, we. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. So that's 99 passenger capacity. What's the capacity now? 52. So that should definitely help some. So Hiawatha... Uh, passenger... Uh, one, two, three. Replace. And which color is this? Is it this one? 
Where's this one? I think it's this one. Alright. So they have been replaced. Let's take a look. I do like the look of this uh, locomotive. It looks really cool. Kind of a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, damn it, I can't remember what, what it's called. Uh, um, it's a special decor uh, of sorts. I don't remember what it's called right now. Art Deco! Art Deco. It kind of looks Art Deco. And we have passengers up top. We have passengers down below. Very cool. I like these. Do the doors open, I wonder? They do. Uh, that's a bit of a step down there. That's okay, though. But yeah, pretty cool. And I just want to get up here because... Let me know, isn't this... Doesn't this, uh, this locomotive look Art Deco? Or am I wrong? I think it looks Art Deco. Very cool train. Very cool train indeed. Alright, so that was Provo Murrieta commuter. Uh, it's not here, it's over here. So hopefully this will... help on this. Murrieta Semicula commuter is no, lo no longer has an exclamation mark, so that's nice. So I think we will get that down to where we want it. Uh, something's wrong here, I think. Nope. Just waiting for that train to get out of there. We have one, two trains sitting there waiting. Okay, it's fine though. Then, uh, down here we have done that. Uh, Midland Olaith. Quite a lot of passengers sitting there. Quite a lot of passengers sitting there. No passengers sitting here. It's a little weird. The end stations never really have passengers waiting. Uh, let's see, that's a commuter. 54 of 76. It's definitely going to get full here, right? And you have 23. I think we need to do something about this. Uh, what do we have for trains here? We have the PR class... GG1 with four. So this is electric and it's this one. It does 160 kilometers an hour. And then we have the All American Gold Sand. It's this one. It does 180. Uh, so we could go with this. This has some more power though. Do we have a lot of uh, hilly stuff on this? That is quite steep here. And then here we're coming through as well. So, is this very uphill? It is very uphill. 
It is very uphill. So we have a capacity of 76 passengers at the moment. Uh, maybe we just put another train or two on this and leave the train as is. Let's just try doing one train for now, one more train, and we'll see how that sorts itself out. Uh, then we have Hialeah. Hialeah has a lot of passengers going to Murrieta as well. Uh, Colombia doesn't really have that many, but that's because you just picked up. You're almost full. Okay, what, what do we have on this train? It's a little annoying that it doesn't say what kind of train it is. Uh, uh, details. Why can't I see what kind of train it is? That is very annoying. Right, this is the uh, metro liner, right? Um, let's just take a look at it. Yeah, that's the metro liner. Well, I was told that the metro liner isn't very good at moving people. I do want to have met metro liners in some places. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to clone this one as well. And see if that doesn't sort this out. Maybe one doesn't do it. All right, then we have our passengers up here from Temecula to Green Bay to Midland. Uh, a lot wanting to go to Temecula. A lot wanting to go, well, either to Green Bay or Temecula. Okay, so we have actually got quite a few people waiting here. So what train? What are we using here? Where are the trains? Where are the trains? And there's one here. Uh, so Macula Memphis commuter. Uh, managed vehicles. So here we have the PRR as well with the All American Gold Sands. So let's replace. I think I'll still go with the PRR. Or do we want to go with its diesel train maybe? One rail, 113, 177. You know what, let's go with a diesel train. Uh, let's go with this guy. And for passengers... So it can go 177. All American Gold Sand isn't the worst, but. Ooh. I kind of like these. Uh, we have three of these American Gold Sands. So that's 57 passenger capacity. We definitely need to upgrade that. Uh, let's see, 10 passengers, no. Uh, ah, the business class, 5. That sucks. Let's go with this Pullman heavyweight coach class. Wow, one of those takes it down to good. Okay. 
How much do they weigh? Uh, weight 50 tons. Weight 6, 8 tons, okay. What if we do this? Then we can do 112, flat 140. No, I want to go faster than that. Uh, maybe this isn't the best train. But it has pretty good power and tractive effort. Uh, what does this have? 3450. Uh, so it's quite lacking in power. This can only do 113. hundred and forty five but again the power is not great hundred and five man the power is just horrendous uh, I think I don't think we're gonna go with hmm all right, let's go with the PRR. Or, go with this thing. Doesn't have the best tractive effort, but it goes exactly 140. And then with one, two, three, of these I think that's okay let's do it and they are I think it's this color All right, let's take a look at you Very nice. It's a pretty cool looking train. We're coming into the station. I really don't like that the city just builds up through the... Uh, <laughs> through the train station. And that kind of makes me want to not use elevated stations. I don't know, do you know if there's anything you can do to, f to get them to not do that? Because I'd kind of like it to not do that. Man, it takes a long time to load and unload. I'd kind of like it to not do that. I mean, look at this. We have... One, two, three buildings going up through the station. Alright, so this should take care of the Memphis to Macula, I think. We shouldn't have that many people waiting to go up. Uh, now... Yeah. We're actually getting a quite a few. Murrieta Temecula is completely empty now. Well, we did just pick up passengers. 83 of 84. Wow. We are getting a lot of passengers, man. It's nice. Alright. So hopefully this will start easing up. What about Memphis to um, Madison? Madison has 74 people waiting. 
You have 190 people waiting to go to Memphis. You have 44 waiting to go to either Memphis or Madison. I think that's kind of okay. And you must have picked up 99 passengers. Yes, you did. There's still 538 waiting. I think this will solve the problem. Oops. It will just take a little time, of course. Uh, so, this is looking okay. This is still quite full. That's even though there's still just been a train. And down here. Well, that, let, let's give it a little time to sort itself out. Now we already fixed this one, right? Yeah, we added a train to this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we'll see if that solves this problem. Okay. What about our ferries? I think they're fine. Yeah. They're definitely not overflowing with passengers. And what about our bus lines here? No, not really. This one, this... Uh, no, that's fine. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. We're just fine. Yeah. Definitely okay there. Here we're okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Yep, well, isn't getting any goods of any kind, which is fine for now. So it's looking okay. Ooh, what's that? That looks interesting i've never seen those before is it a is it a train thing a cargo yeah it is okay We're gonna have a train with that. All right, uh, let's see. I think the only passenger service or passenger train that we haven't looked at is from down here, uh, Virginia uh, Provo to Frisco comm commuter. Has no passengers waiting. Ah, a train just left. 55 okay and in Frisco is fine that's definitely okay yeah and what about here wow a lot of people want to go to Virginia Beach not so many from down here but how many passengers do you have not that many um, we only put two trains on that. Let's just clone one and see if that doesn't solve the problem. I really should put another cargo platform on this, shouldn't I? Oh, we have two. 
So this actually needs to come in here. And then across. I think that might be good. Why are you coming in with all this stuff? Okay, it's fine. I don't know why you're bringing fuel in and not dropping it off. It's a bit weird. And then you're picking up everything. Yeah, uh, you're not quite getting full. Yeah, you did get full. And we have more sitting here now. Okay, that's fine. Man, we have a lot of stuff sitting here. Send the one and send it. I think this is incorrect. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Now, let's quickly have a look at our lines and see what's making money and what's not. We are definitely making money. See, Spine Stakeholder isn't making money, but I still think it'll sort itself out eventually. Uh, the Virginia Beach Tacoma cargo is not doing so well. Hylia Fluid to Topeka isn't doing so well. Uh, which is a little weird. Fresno mail sorting. Provo planks to spine. Okay. And what is doing well? Spine fluid hauler, Tacoma, Virginia Beach. Fluid doing very well. Spine Cargo Hauler is doing well. Maria Tatemacula Commuter, wow. Uh, Paso Fuel, okay. Our ship's making money, a little bit. I kind of think I want to upgrade. It's actually most of our train lines that are making money it's only one two three four five six seven that are this one is really really not though um but this one really really is so this and this train basically cancel each other out and then what this the cargo hauler basically cancels out all the others and even makes a little bit of money and then the rest is profit so that is very, very good money. Our trams are not making money at all. But that's to be expected. I don't expect any of these internal city lines to make money at all. Uh, trucks are doing okay. For the most part. They will do better though. Oh so, yeah. Pretty cool. What's this? Uh, that's lines that are in this area. Okay. It's quite a little line in, in a small area. All right. So we're doing well. We are doing well. Uh, Oh, this gets sorted. We'll check it again next time. In the next episode, we'll check the lines and see. Oh, this is down to not having any exclamation marks. No exclamation marks here. Here we have one. Down to Marietta. And up here. No exclamation marks. Okay. But we're doing quite alright. Getting better. 
Hmm. I need to get some more on this though. 99 passengers train. But we might need to get just one more train on there. Yeah. Why do you only have 68 passengers on board? I don't understand. Well, you should be able... You should be picking up everything right now, right? Uh, getting full, I mean. Yeah. And there's no longer an exclamation mark there. But there will be again shortly. Okay. Well, quite a lot of stuff. Which is nice to see. Nice to see. Alright, anyway, we are out of time. So we'll have to continue on in the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.